guys, Andrea Mills here. Now that I've shown you how to use your sewing machine, um, I'm going to take you along and show you how to buy fabric and um, buy patterns. The kids and I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday, so you guys can go along with this and I'll walk you through everything. Here we are in Hobby Lobby and I've got the kids with me, so we'll have to see how this goes. Might get a little crazy. Here is um, the big rolls of fabric and these are usually for like doing upholstery or um, curtains or things like that and they're in the big rolls so that they don't have any creases down them and they're a little wider than the kind of fabric that's on the smaller bolts. You can just lift these up and take them off and carry them up to the cutting counter yourself Mama. or you can ask and have them come get it for you. You can use this kind of fabric for other things besides that, but you want to um, look at the care label to make sure it's washable before you um, make something out of it that you want to wash because a lot of times it's um, dry clean only, so make sure to check that. This is similar to the one I have in my pantry on the curtain I made. I don't really know what fabrics are or what they're supposed to be used for. I just feel them and see if I like them and see if they look like something I would like to use. I don't necessarily pay attention to whether it's supposed to be for quilting or apparel or whatever. I just touch things and see what I like. Mom, this looks like it was just painted with a giant print paper. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Over here are the bolts of fabric and you'll see on the tops they usually have um, a sign that tells These are Easter what it's intended for, what kind it is. This is for Easter. But again, you can use it for whatever you want so don't worry about um, like doing the right thing. Just look and feel and see what you like. On the end of every bolt is the important information which is the um, instructions for how to take care of it. So you want to always check that to make sure that you don't end up, as I said, getting something that you have to dry clean or something if you don't want that kind of fabric. So every single one will have those instructions and usually the um, price is going to be on there too. These ones are $9.99 a yard. If you're wanting to do a big project and you want to know how much is on the bolt, one of the um, ways to find out like a rough estimate of how much is on a particular bolt is to um, count every two layers is about a yard. So this is one, two, three. So there's about three to four yards on this bolt still. These are knits. So these are the stretchy fabrics that you can make t-shirts out of. It's the kind of fabric that I use to make my baby wrap. Now if you want to pick out a pattern, this is what you do. There will always be a table somewhere that has all of the pattern books and they're kind of like clothes catalogs. And you just open it up and you start looking through and there's gonna be a little key here to tell you what you're looking for. All the different kinds of clothes and then they're gonna have home decor patterns and usually crafts and costumes and things like that. So you look through, see what they have. So let's say I wanted to make a little jumper here. First off, this says it's easy to sew. So if you're new, you're definitely gonna to wanna to look for something that's easy and doesn't have lots of things like ruffles and things, those are more difficult. So if you're new, look for something plain like this. Here's the pattern price. It shows you the different things that you can make with this particular pattern. And then this is the important bit right here. This is the pattern number. So this is pattern 1568, and this is a simplicity book. Then I'm gonna come over here to all the pattern drawers, and I'm gonna find the simplicity drawers and I'm going to find number 1568. So this is 1129 to 1314. So this is going to be my drawer right here. So open it up and right there is pattern number 1568. And it's going to come usually in more than one size. Looks like these are all three to eight. But you'll want to check that before you take your pattern. Make sure that it's the size that you want. There it is. When you pick your pattern, you're going to have to decide which style you want to get or want to make, and then it's going to tell you how much fabric you need for your size. So if I'm going to do the shirt that's A, then I'm going to look over on the size that I want and that'll tell me I need a half yard to make a size 1. And it gives you measurements and things there. And then also you need to look find somewhere where it says notions and that's going to tell you the extra things you're going to need besides fabric. So for A, I need four small snaps. And I would find the notions 
and look until I found my snaps. If you ever have trouble finding anything, just ask whoever's working because they're always very, very helpful and will just point you in the right direction or just go right around and find it for you. So, um, especially with your first time, I always just tell somebody, I've never done this before. Could you point me in the right direction? Could you tell me how to do this? And people are always super friendly and they like to help. So don't be afraid just to speak up and get some help if you need it. Now today I'm looking for some fabric to make a curtain for my kitchen and I want to make a new lap blanket for the living room. So I'm going to pick out some fabric and then we'll get it cut and I'll show you how to do that. You guys want to help me pick out some fabric now? For, where are we gonna use it for? We're gonna make a new blanket for the couch and some curtains for the kitchen. Like that like the old blanket was some the flowers and the Yeah. Like it's like an old one kind of. Mm-hmm. This looks good and it doesn't feel too bad. But it needs to be thick. One of these. I kinda like this one for the curtain maybe. Oh or that one. That would look nice. That kind of looks like the living room curtain, only a different color. Yeah. Mom, look at this. Look, there's also this one. This one feels kind of like the mm -hmm. last one. <laughs> I think I'm going to get this one for the curtain. Now we got to get one for the... Um, for the so I'm just going to take this off and put it under here for now since my cart's full. <laughs> that one looks really good. When we ask for fabric to be cut, usually we get it in yards so like one yard two yards three yards half a yard but you can order it in say a foot or three inches or whatever it is that you need but generally that's how you um, go up and say I would like three yards of this if no one's at the cutting counter there's always going to be a bell sitting there so that you can ding it so that the person will come and help you but right now we still need to pick out one more piece of fabric for the back of the blanket come back I'll take this Can one. Can you put it up there? I'll get put one up. I think it's I think we got them all. They cut them like that. Perfect. Okay, we need one yard of that one. I got these. Three yards of that one. And then one of the last one. You too. Now she's given us a ticket that, that has all the information and we'll take this up to the front and then this is what they'll use to ring up our um, fabric. Let's talk about the trims too. There's a lot of trims that you just buy the whole roll but there's some that need to be cut and that's kind of what these ones here are. So you would do the same exact thing as we did for the fabric. You just take this out, take it up to the counter and then tell them how many yards or inches or whatever that you want and then they'll cut it for you. I also need to get some batting for the inside of my blanket. So I'm gonna pick out one of these and I'm just making a small one so a crib size um, batting is gonna be big enough for what I need. It looks like this one's a good price. So I'm gonna take this one. That's what makes the inside of the quilt um, thick. So our next song video is going to be about how to actually use that pattern and fabric once you get home. So thank you guys for coming along with us today and we'll see you again very soon. Mm -hmm.